Hey guys, this is Pastor Tim Williams, lead pastor at City Church of the Treasure Coast. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight for 7 on the 7. Uh, it is our nightly encouragement to you from God's Word during these trying times, a beacon of light in this community when there's a lot of darkness and a lot of heaviness. And so we're so glad that you've chosen to take this time to turn off the TV and get away from the distractions of life and get into what really matters, God's Word and what God has to say. And so one of the things we've been talking about is that God is the one who comes in and says, peace be still to the storm. He's the one that can calm the waves of media reports, the waves of medical reports, the waves of the stock market going up and down. And we've been looking here at God's word in Matthew chapter 14, where Jesus, after praying all night, comes and walks on the water to help the disciples that are crying out in a storm. Now, the last time we were together, we looked at the fact they were afraid to see him. But there's one guy who gets it. There's one guy that's not scared, but he's excited to see Jesus. I'm in Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Verse 29, come, he said. So Peter gets out of the boat and walks on the water and came toward Jesus right here in Matthew chapter 14. Jesus calls Peter to come home, to come home, to come to where he is. And we can pray this exact same prayer with what we're going through with COVID-19 and, and with our employment situation and with people who are literally dying. We can pray this, Lord, if you tell me to get out of the boat, if you tell me to go through an impossible storm like this, then, and you tell me to jump out of my safety, my boat, my place where I'm just hiding and shutting off from everything, then Lord, I will get out of the boat to go to where you are. That's one of the reasons we're doing this broadcast. We want you to get out of the boat of despair, and get out of the boat of anxiety and get home, get home to where Jesus is. Go to Jesus. He walks on the water to come into our lives to bring life. And many times we refuse to get out of the boat. We refuse to see it. Our finances, our past, the things that we're trapped with, we're sinking down in the boat. And Jesus comes and says, trust me. Now, I don't want you to miss this. Peter got out of the boat. He's the only one He's the only one that dove in, that walked on, that took a step of faith. In fact, not only does Peter get out of the boat, but if we look at what it said in verse 29, he literally started to walk on the water. Remember last time I said that same power that lives in you, that raised Christ from the dead, the word says you'll do greater things. Peter actually walks on the water. It's not that Peter is God. Peter is not God, you understand. He has his eyes on God. He has his focus on God. The power is God's power flowing through him in an impossible situation. Some of you today have said, how am I going to make it through this? What am I going to do? Where do we go from here? Church, friends, we got to walk on the water. We got to get out of the boat and walk towards where Jesus is. Our eyes need to be on Jesus, not the waves. That doesn't mean we don't know there's waves. That doesn't mean that we throw all caution to the wind and that we're not wise, but it means that our focus, our main focus is on God, is on Jesus, not on the storm, not on the waves, not on the impossibilities. Verse 30 of Matthew 14, but when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Fear is real. Fear is running rampant, all of us. The people that are on staff at our church, there's things we're scared of right now. There's things you're scared of right now. We're gonna pray at the end of our time together that God, Jehovah Shalom, the God of all peace, would remove the fear. What does the word say? Cast out fear, perfect love. Who has perfect love? God and God alone. I'm asking you today to pray that God will help us to release the fear, to have the fear flow out of our lives and our hearts, even when we begin to sink like Peter did. Not to be afraid, but to do this. Keep our eyes on Jesus. Psalm 141, 8 says, but my eyes are fixed on you. Hey, it sounds like a song from King and Country to me. It's a great one. Um, 
Sovereign Lord, in you I take refuge. Do not give me over to death. What a prayer today. God, my eyes are fixed on you. Don't give me over my loved ones to death or those with underlying medical conditions. And so, church, we've got to ask ourselves, are we taking refuge in the boat of this world? Or are we leaning into and taking refuge in Jesus and in his word, our plan or God's plan? Look at verse 31 because I want to leave us with this today. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. He says, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Church, we know you're sinking. We know the waves are overwhelming. We know the reports are, are hard to deal with. We have children. We have loved ones, some of your grandparents. You understand that as we're sinking, Jesus doesn't let us sink. He doesn't look at us and say, see, you got yourself into this mess. He doesn't look at us and say, you know what? You better know how to swim. He comes and he reaches out his hand and he catches Peter. I love Jesus. He doesn't give us lectures. He teaches us. He, we have learning moments, and this is a big one. But he doesn't give us lectures. He saves us first. He saves us first. You know, I've had folks who have let me drown, who have let me have it and told me that it was all my fault on the way down. How about you guys out there? Has that ever happened to you? But I love the way that Jesus always saves I want to leave you with John 16, 33. It says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. We're going to pray today that we will not sink. And if we are sinking, that we will reach out and cry out and Jesus will save us. I believe that he will. The waves are great, but God is greater. Will you reach out your hand tonight? Will you pray with me as we close out seven on the seven? Lord Jesus, today, today we know that there are dear friends that are out in our community um, that are losing their jobs, that are losing their minds, that are losing their peace. We pray, Lord, that you would stretch out your hands and reach out and grab us today and bring us, Lord, to you. Carry us back to you. God, though the storm is great, you are the Lord of the storm. Father, would you, would you speak peace to the storm? God, we pray that you would push back the effects of COVID-19, that you would raise up a standard and a hedge of protection to protect our city, our state, our county, our nation, our world. We pray it all in the name above all names, the name of the God who walks on the water, the God who saves us, who lifts us up when we're drowning. We pray it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight for Seven on the Seven. We hope to see you every night right here during this time of great crisis. We are a beacon of light in this world of God's love. Join us every night right here, City Church of the Treasure Coast, 7 on the 7. God bless you. We love you.